My next guest found a way to incorporate a big social media trend into their home. It's called cosplay. That's where you dress up as your favorite anime or superhero character. The trend is popular on platforms like TikTok, and that's where the Del Valle family's videos have racked up somewhere around 2 million likes. Take a look. Hi, we're the Del Valles from the Pocono Mountains here in Pennsylvania. It was like 2015, we ended up going to New York Comic Con. I actually didn't really know what cosplay was when we first went. I was like, oh, it's costumes, like people dressing up. That's what I thought. If you really think about it, cosplay is just what we all do on Halloween, right? As time went on, we just started really getting into it, brainstorming what are things that we can do to put together, um, even having the kids like try on certain things with their outfits. It's definitely a way to express their creativity, and even they come up with ideas. I get to dress up as whichever character I want, from cartoons, TV shows, it's all for fun. And we get to do it as a family. Joining us from their home in the Poconos, please welcome Louis, Jolette, Joelle, and Lennox. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. I have to tell you, Jolette, I have so many questions for you. My exposure to this came in the form of my niece, Layla, who was visiting me over the summer. And I was putting away her laundry, and I saw a blonde wig, much like the one you're wearing, and a costume very much like the one you're wearing. My heart sank because I didn't know what was going on. And I said, hey, can I talk to you for a second? What's going on here? And she's like, Aunt Tamron, it's cosplay. And started to educate me, and I felt a lot better about it. But I, uh, I feel like I'm in a bubble, and your family is full into this now. Yes, yes. <laughs> How did you learn about the cosplay world, particularly with anime? Um, so honestly, the way that we learned about it, um, I wasn't really into it at first. We ended up going to New York Comic Con um, because my husband's friend had invited us. Um, I was very reluctant to go because I didn't think it was something I would like. Um, and then when we finally went, um, I saw all the beautiful, just different costumes, cosplays that people put together. Um, and then just the community in general was very welcoming. Um, so then as we kind of learned a little more about it, we, you know, started off very small doing, um, you know, I think a bat family from, you know, the DC comics. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, we really love watching um, different anime shows together. And that ended up turning into my husband saying, hey, why don't we try cosplaying as something from, you know, this show or that show? Um, and then I was like, okay, I actually really like that idea. Um, and then we asked our kids, you know, what character they would like to dress up as and, you know, what they liked. Um, and that's kind of how we came up with um, some of our cosplays. Well, this was one of our first ones, actually. Well, um, I have to give Lewis credit because you're sitting there with a straight face, man. <laughs> I, I give you props for that. Uh, what we do for our kids, right? We try to find ways to connect with them, to get them involved in things. For some parents, it's sports on Saturdays. Others, you know, it, it's, I don't know, cooking. But for your family, this really gave you an opportunity to hang out with the kids in this cool way, Lewis. How did that help the tweens that are sitting right in front of you understand you as parents and give you something fun to do? It definitely um, shares insight on things that I love. You know, it gives me something to bond with them. We watch shows together. We, you know, clearly cosplay together. Um, it's definitely given us, like, insight on things that they like characters that they like. Um, a lot of these stories have a lot of, you know, uh, factors or key things that are built into them. So it gives me a little insight on what they're thinking. Jolette, less for the boys, but I know a lot of uh, young girls who are into cosplay, their parents have talked about some of the characters can be, you know, pretty sexy. Um, some of the costumes can be a little risque. How have you talked to the boys about the limits in this? That this is fun, but this is also mom and dad limiting what you can be exposed to, even when it comes to violence. So with our kids, honestly, we communicate a lot. Um, if there's something that they see or something that they hear about in school, um, you know, we do talk to them about it. They'll come to us, they'll talk to us about it. So even when it does come to certain characters, I mean, obviously, when we are watching animes, 
sometimes there are characters that come on the screen that maybe don't have, you know, a lot of clothing on and things like that. We'll explain to them, hey, this is animation. Um, you know, this isn't always how people dress. And even if you do see people dress like this, you know, again, when we go to conventions, um, it's also about respecting other people and their bodies. All of the conventions, there's signs everywhere that says like, um, cosplay is not consent. Um, and that's like a big thing with the cosplay community because again, people go and they enjoy cosplaying as whatever characters they want. And even if it is something that maybe they show a little more skin, that doesn't give people a right to, you know, grab them or make them uncomfortable. Louis, so, I have to tell you, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, like, cause I'm surprised by that. I've not had the pleasure of attending one of the conventions and I hope to with my nieces, but it is interesting, Louis, that you're able to teach your sons some very important relevant topics right now like consent and even though they're on the younger side of it did you expect to experience that in this world that you'd be having not birds and the bees but kind of sort of that conversation in a modern form here um i didn't really think about it <laughs> that we would have be having that conversation earlier on um i know consent is definitely a big thing even when taking a picture of somebody mm -hmm. in in their cosplay you know, you always ask to make sure it's okay with them if they feel comfortable enough to take a picture of them. And it's definitely something that we had to talk to the boys. And I feel like it's something that they benefit from wow. speaking to them so early on about it, especially in the world that we're growing in now. Joelle, let me ask you, does this mean you have the coolest parents in the neighborhood? Yep. <laughs> 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 Nothing to add to that, huh? Yep, they are the coolest parents. Lennox, do you think you have the coolest parents because of this? Do you have an opinion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, we're coming back. Thank you so much, Jolette, Lewis, Joelle, and Lennox. And let me tell you guys, you do have the coolest parents on your block for sure.